All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade egg noodles. Um, rather simple recipe, easy to make. Um, I did this on another vlog with ravioli. Um, I used semolina flour on that one. I'm going to use regular white all AP flour on this one. We need one cup of flour per two eggs and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So we're I'm wanting to double a recipe that is is one egg to, or two eggs to each cup of flour and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So this is a third cup measure I'm using. And all I'm doing is I'm making an even with my finger, even one third cup. So that's one cup there. I'm going to do one more because I like to have extra egg noodles. These things will save one, two. So that is, and we'll keep the flour open and actually, you know, so we can, we have it if we need it. Okay, so our flour is in the center of our counter. We're going to create a well in our flour. We're going to basically just create this big well, make sure that we got like a bowl, a um, little bit of flour, make sure you got some flour on the bottom. This thing's got to hold everything, so. We'll do break open our eggs into that. That's one. We'll do two at a time just to get it started. There's two. So we don't make too big of a mess. Use our fork, break our yolks, start beating them. Mixing that flour in and beating them eggs, beating those eggs in. We're going to just gradually take a little bit of flour from the inside of the bowl to keep doing this. We just want to gradually add just a little bit until we've gotten a, you know, a stable place for our egg mixture worked out. I got that. Now, at this point, we can add our two other eggs. When I did this the other day for the ravioli, they didn't turn out as, they didn't work out as nice as this. Um, in fact, we're probably going to see the breakover of the dam here in just a moment. I'm not washing my hands while doing this because I did before I started the cameras. Um, but my hands are just going to get messy anyway, so there's just no point and washing them every time I handle an egg or get my get egg on my hands because that's gonna happen. Look, our egg just exploded over the side here. Kind of scoop it up, bring it back in, or angle it back in. Now, the egg's well mixed, it's beaten in. We can put that over there dirty. We're gonna use our hands here, guys. At this point, we just want to bring all this flour and mix it in with this beautiful egg. Get it all in there. We're going to start coming up with a nice dough. See, it's starting to clump together. I don't mind making a mess. This will all come off the counter, guys. This will absolutely all work together and come up off the counter. And off your fingers as you go. You'll notice how dirty my hands are right now, but... Here in a little bit, my hands are actually going to clean up quite well. I just keep mixing this flour in. We want to make a nice firm dough. If we need to add more flour, we can add more flour here in a moment. But we want to incorporate all the flour we currently have. So we'll scrape some of this off of our fingers here and hands. But at 
this point, I'm not really looking to get much more off of my hands. Let's wash our hands off real quick. At this point, it's okay to wash your hands. Um, easiest if you use a um, scrubby sponge, a non-scratch scrubby sponge works really well to get the bell free off your fingers. And then one of my favorite toys is the pastry knife. Now I forgot to add a tiny bit of salt to my dough here. So we are going to actually add it in now because I can work it in and it'll knead in with it all. So just spread it out over that, it'll still knead in. We want to kind of scrape off, scrape everything off the counter and get it worked into a pile because this is all dough. It's all going to work into dough, guys. And boom, there we go. And we will work this a little bit. We want to keep enough dough or enough flour on the counter that it doesn't stick to you anymore or stick to your workplace. And we're gonna need this for just a little bit. We want it nice and smooth and then that's it. We wanna leave it be after you got it smooth. And I even see I'm putting fingerprints in that dough. I'm actually squeezing it together as I go. I'm making sure that, that salt get, that I was late getting in gets incorporated. We don't want it to not incorporate. And what I'm doing now is I'm picking up all the dough, all the flour, all the little crumblies off of the counter, working them into this dough ball that is getting ready to go sit as soon as I get it all incorporated. And as you work it, the smoother it gets, you're going to notice that the water is going to start coming out again. And that's okay. Keep working that flour and those bits in. We can always grab a little bit more flour to keep from our hands sticking. But we want to get it worked really nice and Smooth, and this is almost there. It's about five minutes of kneading. You know, and kneading is you want to fold the flour into itself and press. What you're doing is you're creating gluten strands. You don't want to do it too, too much because then you got really tough noodles. And really tough dough is really hard to... Um, to roll out, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll it like this. I'll knead it like this for a couple of minutes because ultimately the shape I want is going to be long. I'm trying to make egg noodles, so we want to kind of get this to be a long. And that is fresh egg noodle dough right there. And we're just, I'm just finishing kneading it all together again. Okay, now the proper way 
to rest that dough. Is get yourself a piece of saran wrap. Put that dough on that saran wrap. So Okay, and that dough is rested. We will, oh, this dough is ready to rest. So, I'm just gonna set it over here on the counter to rest for a few. We want to wash our hands now really good. Um, when we go to roll it out, we're gonna roll it really, really thin, and we're gonna fold it and slice it, fold it, slice it. Yeah, so we get nicer, thinner noodles. Um, we're actually making egg noodles, so the other noodles we use water instead of egg. So we'll do our cleanup for now. Uh, no need of that flour there. Now we will need this again, so we'll go ahead and leave that in there with that. Those are there. We'll leave the flour and the cutting board out. Um, just bear with me just a second. I know I did some laundry today. Okay. Okay. There we go. It's a clean washcloth, the countercloth. So, that is how to make egg noodle dough. Now that dough needs to rest for about 20 minutes, 15 at the minimum. You have time at home, you're not in a competition, let it rest. You know, give it a break. <laughs> let it take its break. You just beat it up and kneaded it to death. Give it a moment. Let it let it rest. Once it's rested and you're ready to cut your noodles, you're going to dust your countertop with flour and um, you will dust your countertop with flour. You lay that out and it'll long strip you're going to roll it out you're going to kind of get it as long as you can get it and then we're going to roll it with a rolling pin like so all the way down until we get it thinned out the way we want it once it's thinned the way we want it then we'll make sure we keep coating it with flour so that it stays nice and dry on the top so it doesn't cling once it's done we'll fold it over and over on top of itself then we'll take our chef's knife and we'll cut thin strips and those become our egg noodles. We can then cut them even smaller. You can let them dry out and uh, you know store them or you can take and cook them straight. So for now we're just going to go ahead uh, because I don't intend to use this till tomorrow we're going to put this in here in the refrigerator to rest. Uh, we will be making Hungarian goulash on the next cooking vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're going to do one recipe at a time. We'll pull it all together as a meal for tomorrow night. Um, if you guys like what I'm doing and you like this new method, please, please uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share it. Tell your friends, share it to your friends, copy the URL, send it in a text message to your friends. You